grandfather was in the rug business since the 1930s, but it was in antique carpets, buying and selling carpets, restoring carpets. He was a real artist himself. He set up a weaving school in Egypt and in Waterford Road, just around the corner from our shop. The artist collaboration is very interesting for us because at the end of the day, we do create art at Knott's Rugs. But this is now going to other people and looking at their expression. And we, we spent some time looking around at people and art that we really liked. Arthur Lanyon, we instantly loved his work when we saw it. He's an abstract modernist. I think that it will be art lovers that will buy because it's like something you would see hanging in the Tate. Mikhail Cole, again, her stuff, there's a real moodiness to the pieces that we chose, quite a renaissance look. And with that, there were lots of challenges because we've got over 80 colours in hers. So there's lots of dripping and melting in her, the way that she uses her brush strokes. George Morton Clark is very expressive. They've had to put 65 colours into his carpet. It's a big carpet as well. It's a big piece of art. It took a month to dye his walls because it was so complicated. He loves to express, he loves to talk, he loves to, to live his art. Just to see your painting just so enlarged and what you came up with and put into a different medium is just so exciting. And it's, it's like you hand over the reins because the next piece isn't really mine. The essence of it is there, but it's also so many other people's artwork. One person cannot make a rug. You know, you need everybody that goes into it, whether it's spinning, balling, weaving, translating the design. Everybody has their input, everybody has their say, and it's really important because otherwise everything would look the same. It is a collaboration, and that's what's, that's what's the beauty of it. Colours, yarns, and weaving, designings, uh, dyeing, it includes all process of uh, us. So it's like to make one rug, it's just like 25 or 30 process in it. Now it's 30 years that I'm dealing with all those things. What we are doing at the moment is more artistic lines and more feel of yourself, but also the painters who did the paintings. First, I learn about the uh, arts. Then I feel to how to give the textures into the rocks. Then I play with it, how to use that materials to give the same feel of the paintings. Dharma and Dilip are very good, you know, they understand colors. We could give them one color and they might translate that into five or six just to flow the carpet through and they really enjoy our company and we really enjoy their company and we just love spending the time with them. I really like to work with them because we have the same interest. We want to show all the details and what they like and what we like. It's very similar. Whichever carpet I make myself is my devotions, my self-soul. It's my whole feel, what I experienced through whole years. And uh, that's the opportunity I received that is it's tremendous for me. So many families, so many mothers, so many sisters, they also directly get the chance to walk with the rugs and get uh, feed the families. And it helps the whole of our community. How do we feel when we're making a rug? There's excitement. You see things, you think, oh wow, I want to create that. Then there's like, oh my God, how am I going to do it? And then you think, I'm going to send this, there's going to be a million colours, it's going to cause problems. Then you get worries. There's every emotion in a carpet. The best emotion is when you see it, when it's finally made and it arrives in the store and you unroll it and you just think, it's amazing, because you see the soul of everybody that's made it within it. It came above and beyond what I thought how it was going to work. I did the painting and I'm still finding things, you know, just in the rug. It's just mind-blowing how beautiful it is. Like, where does the painting stop and where does the rug start? There's no point copying people. There's no point doing things that people already do really well. 
There's only a point of doing things that we do really well because it's basically us coming through in the carpet and our producers understanding us and our interpretation of a beautiful carpet. Thank you.